stands for the Office of Multicultural Enrichment. And basically, it's an office under ACU, kind of like of what you would think student life, except it deals specifically with culture and diversity aspects of the university. A lot of our events are great in theory, um, but when we actually get to them, uh, we don't get the best results. Over the course of the last semester, we've had the opportunity to work with the Office of Multicultural Enrichment. We analyze their current marketing strategies and have tried our best to develop a new plan to hopefully solve some of their current problems. Well, ACU, even for instance, their mission is to educate students for leadership throughout the world or something similar to that nation. They have concrete goals in every department that they want to achieve, and OME does have that list, but none of that is really incorporated or really brought into the people who work there constantly to know that this is what we're striving to get to, this is where we're at, and this is where we need to be. And they need to have that clear vision and it needs to be emphasized on the people who work there so they, so they, it can be achieved. We found that the Office of Multicultural Enrichment is really just having a problem with exposure on campus at ACU. Nobody really knows exactly what they do, they've never really heard about it. Even our international students don't really know what they do because they don't actively pursue these international students. So when we've talked to people, they've not really expressed a strong feeling of satisfaction with the office, and we think that there's a lot of room for growth. Currently what happens is I feel the people who are selected for OME are selected because they're already kind of involved with students and student organizations and I know that's kind of how I got pulled in because I already work with student student organizations that fall under the OME umbrella and so I encourage them to come to OME events however you want to define that the events that we do have because I personally know them and I'm like it kind of comes across of like hey can you do me a favor and come to an OME event. In order for us to really get into OME and really to identify certain problems that they're having. Um, we really had to take a look at different organizations on campus that are successful. Um, one organization we looked at was Chapel, and even though it's mandatory for students on campus to go to Chapel, they still have a very high success rate. Um, you can choose to go to one chapel over another. Um, students have the opportunity to say, um, I'm only going to go to eight chapels this, this semester and go on chapel probation. And others say, you know, I've already got my 55 credits out of the way, but I enjoy chapel so much, I'm going to go ahead and get 60, 65 to, uh, just to get filled every day. So what we did is we went and interviewed Mark Lewis, and he talked to us a little bit about why he believes the chapel is so successful, what he's done in the past couple of years to promote chapel, to get students more involved, and to get people um, to believe in what they do and not just participate in it, but to really understand it and be filled by it. Out of approximately 4,000 full-time undergrad students, well, I guess it's 4,000 undergrad students, of that, um, we usually have, it varies from about 3,100 to 3,200 students who uh, have to earn some form of chapel credit over the course of the semester. You've got students who love it, are excited about it, come to it willingly. You've got students who despise it, resent it, uh, want nothing to do with it, but obviously have to, uh, and then everything in between. There are three big questions, there are a lot of questions we asked, but there are three that we have watched and tracked ever since 1998. One is, um, you know, disagree all the way to, uh, strongly disagree all the way to strongly agree. Uh, chapel helps me grow in my faith. So this semester has helped me grow in my faith. Secondly, uh, chapel helps me feel more connected to the ACU community. And then thirdly, uh, chapel helps me think about, uh, think differently about the world and my place in it. Uh, and, and we've got you know, percentages all the way back. Those are the three questions that have been found throughout the story of assessment of chapel. Two-thirds of our students, even though it's a mandatory environment, if two-thirds of our students would agree or strongly agree with each of those statements, we're doing well. And uh, 
we're, we're actually up in the three quarters now on, on our responses as far as the spiritual growth and the thinking differently about the world. Usually we're right at 80% on the community aspect. That doesn't mean, okay, we're comfortable now as coast. No. But we still want to keep asking that question because if we see a dip, it's like, okay, what are we doing different? Is the chapel guy getting old? Maybe we need someone who's a little fresher and younger and, and a little more hip and humorous. That's always one of those things I think about is the old guy, you know. Um, is, it, is it something else that's going on campus-wise that's causing uh, some type of a hindrance or an issue, whatever the case may be. But we watch that data closely. The Office of Multicultural Enrichment helps several groups here on campus with their marketing campaigns to help draw in a healthy student base to their activities and their events. But so far, their marketing efforts have just not been successful. And as students here at ACU, we can't even recognize the marketing efforts they've made so far. And we think that if they just better utilize the resources that ACU makes available to us, they'd be able to pull in a lot more students. We currently have an employee, Helga, who uh, does the advertising for us when it comes to mainly the student organizations that we work with and if they have anything that they need help with promotion or advertising or if there is something that OME is doing we get her to do it which she does an amazing job at it she's good um, however it does get iffy on um, what we're promoting is that something that people would care to see advertised <music> OME is a small organization, and uh, their leader is George Pendergrass. He has uh, five members known as the Keystone team that uh, report to him and help him with administrative and organizational tasks. Uh, the Keystone team is purposely diverse, and uh, it's composed of five members that um, all bring something different to the table that can help the group uh, to work together as a whole. A lot of students on campus are intimidated by the word multicultural. Um, and one, one thing in the orientation is that we see multicultural as this big broad term that um, can mean so many different things. But in order to really change the way that students look at that, not make them feel intimidated, um, would, to really, would really be to just take the word multicultural and turn it into a situation where students can interact with each other from different organizations and different um, cultural backgrounds. A lot of students feel uncomfortable whenever they go to these events and they see that it's just a bunch of Chinese students involved in one type of party or a bunch of um, African American students involved in one type of party. Um, whereas. The main key is to really get everybody involved and to make sure that everybody feels welcome, that everybody feels secure, and nobody feels like they're being left out. I hate to say it, but it, it, we don't really do a good job of encouraging diversity on campus. Um, I think because we're so focused on planning these events and you know having a high success rate, and I think that we need to reverse that and say, well, maybe instead of having lots of big events, like just do the more intimate relation one, or relationship ones, and encourage those relationships and encourage, you know, to go out of your comfort zone and encourage to go talk to someone that you wouldn't normally talk to. And I think that that's how we'll eventually get to have cultural diversity on campus. And I don't think it'll happen overnight. Um, it's becoming, you know, a bigger issue, but you have to be realistic about it. I'd like to see us kind of step up our game and be more of a helping hand instead of just a resource.